Sciatica refers to pain that follows the path of the sciatic nerve, which extends from the lower back through the hips, buttocks, and down each leg. Typically, sciatica affects only one side of the body. Pain can range from a mild ache to severe discomfort. Common causes. Herniated disc. A rupture in the fibrous outer layer of a vertebral disc allows the inner soft material to bulge outward, pressing on nearby nerve roots. Degenerative disc disease. Weakening of a spinal disc can cause the vertebral bones above and below it to shift out of place, potentially pinching nerve roots. Spinal stenosis. Narrowing of the spinal canal or foraminal spaces leads to harmful pressure on nerve roots. Bone spurs. Degeneration of bones, discs, or joints may lead to the formation of bony spurs, which can intrude into the spinal canal and compress nerve roots. Levels of nerve root injury. Injuries can occur at any of the five lumbar vertebrae, L1, L5, or the upper sacrum, S1. The symptoms vary based on the affected level. L2 injury may cause pain in the thigh and weakness in the hips. L3 injury results in thigh pain and weakness in the knees and thighs. L4 injury leads to pain radiating from the lower back to the foot, accompanied by foot weakness. L5 injury causes pain from the outer leg to the top of the foot and foot weakness. S1 injury creates pain from the calf to the outer foot and weakness in the foot. Symptoms of sciatica, pain, numbness, tingling, and weakness are common symptoms of sciatica. The severity and location of these symptoms depend on the level and nature of the injury. This condition is often linked to structural problems in the lumbar spine that compress the sciatic nerve or its roots. Proper diagnosis and treatment are essential for managing sciatica effectively.